I'll talk a bit, uh, I'll talk a bit about that in a moment. I just want to gauge, uh, uh, gauge the, uh, the crowd we're talking today. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed, really, uh, by how many people there are uh, who would want to spend their free time coming to this for a game. So, uh, so uh, can, we, can I just uh, can I just pick up hands? Uh, people, um, people who work inside the industry. Right. There's a, there's a few of teams, uh, there's a cluster over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, I know Gavin, uh, what about designers? Uh, Gavin, you, put, uh, you put your hand up there, I'm not sure what you do. What if I do work? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let it dry. Uh, <laughs> and uh, how, how, many, uh, how many journalists are there, uh, are there here today? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. And, uh, uh, sorry, can you, can you put your hand up again? Uh, just see, uh, sir, where are you, where are you from? Eight games uh, website, my favourite game we've been website. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, right. um, I'm joking, I was going to do that to lots and lots of people, but I thought you'd get pretty tired pretty quickly, so uh, I'll, just, I'll just leave it at that. Um, right, and um, uh, students, students, please show hands. Wow. Yay. Hey. Uh, uh, so I'm thinking, uh, leave. Sorry, put down there. Um, <laughs> programmer? Yeah, no, it's on. So, I'm picking Leeds Met, Huddersfield, uh, Sheffield Hallam, Bradford. Uh, any further field than that? Seaside. Seaside, oh, good point. Great yard, great yard, man. Uh, well, thanks for coming. Uh, it's a long way. Uh, remember what I said about disappointment. Um, so, uh, in, this, uh, in this session here, I'm going to talk a bit, a bit about Alien Breed. And uh, I think my talk lasts about half an hour, not too long. Uh, and I think we've got a Q&A session uh, at the end where, you know, feel, feel free to um, ask what you want. Uh, okay, so... Um, Uh, he, he covered about the first five minutes of my presentation. So, um, we're Team Team E. We're, uh, we're an independent video game development. We're just based uh, down the road in sunny Osset near, near Wakefield. And uh, we were established in 1990. We were born from uh, a company called 17 Bit Software. And uh, the name, um, we get asked quite a lot where the name comes from. It's got nothing to do with there being 17 of us, nothing to do with having 17 pounds. Nothing to do with the now defunct E17 pop group. <laughs> at my age there. Uh, <laughs> how many of you remember them? Uh, but it's nothing to do with that. I, I think uh, the name came from at the time the technology was 16 bit and then the incredibly short sighted uh, move the company started on to 17 bit and then so you move on to 32 bit, obviously. 17 bit sounds a bit cheap. They changed it to Team 17 and so that's where the magical name uh, comes comes from. Um, and uh, we're best known um, as Jelly Shed for Worms, and um, I've been led to believe the game's uh, sales are approaching uh, 20 million uh, in total for all of the Worms games, which is incredible. Uh, it's home grand success. Um, you know, we're just based down the road, we're kind of a small company, we, you know, we have fun. We've made this game which has uh, gone on to be incredibly successful. And can I do another quick shout of hands the own uh, Worms game? Wow, nearly everybody. And, uh, and uh, you, there's a hand here. Can you say which, which one's going to be on? One's one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, you, sir. Did you, did you own one? Yeah, which one? One's one, one's one, 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 one. And I think you'll agree they're uh, fantastic entertainment. <laughs> Great value for money. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You need to smell. Anyone here, and, uh, anyone here have more than one Worms game? Yeah? Three Worms games, anyone? Mm, bad people. <laughs> <laughs> well done you, thank you. Uh, you, uh, you kept me and the other teams in the audience, but uh, in, in work for, uh, for a good while, so thank you very, very much. Um, but um, I'm going to go on to say that, actually... <laughs> <laughs> To do your mum. <laughs> They're rubbing your back. Uh, your mum. They're rubbing your back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little about, um, yeah, again, this, this talk is about Alien Breed. I, I will get around to it. Right? <laughs> I will get around to it, honestly. Um, so we start in the uh, 1990s and 
Uh, although we're known for worms, um, yeah, some people, uh, probably, you know, you guys are kind of playing imagine quite hardcore, you probably know that actually we made a, a lot of different games. And uh, to prove the point, I've, uh, I've kind of copied some incredibly small thumbnail uh, box shots of, of our games. And, uh, and what have we got there? We've got, um, we've got Alien Breed, well, I'll come to that in a moment. Uh, we've got Assassin, uh, Arcade Pool, uh, you know, back when we made uh, sports, sports games, it's kind of like a very good pool simulation. Some people say still one of the best pool simulations. Uh, Ascending Challenge, a racing game, Project X, uh, which uh, I, I still get a fair few mails about people asking when are we going to bring that back. Um, I don't know if the answer. Stop asking. Please stop sending mails. Uh, I've told you before. Please stop sending mails. Uh, so Project X, a side scrolling shooter. We've got full contact. Uh, it was kind of like a side scrolling combat game. Body Blows, which was uh, a beat em up, and Super Broad, which uh, I can probably say was a bit of a Sonic no uh, <laughs> uh, in and um, yeah, we can make lots and lots of different games uh, back in the day, lots of different genres. Uh, it was great times, good times. Um, but actually, we made a bunch of uh, different alien breed games as well. And uh, you know, as if to prove the point, uh, I've got another <coughs> bunch of, uh, of alien breed box shots here. So we've got alien breed, alien breed two, tower assault, alien breed uh, 3D, with a game with 3D, killing ground, uh, which is a sequel, and alien breed special edition. And uh, you know, these games were very, very popular. Alien Breed Special Edition went to number one in the charts and it stayed there for 33 weeks unbroken, which I believe is still a record. Uh, and back um, back then, uh, when that was released uh, that year, we won Joint Publisher of the Year with EA. Uh, and obviously, I don't know what's happened to them. Obviously, it's really <laughs> quite a sad story. Uh, they're, not, they're not here today. Uh, you know, we're the mighty team, but they're uh, <laughs> Uh, and that, yeah, that's, uh, that's sort of, we showed them who you best couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I've got some footage uh, just to show you. Uh, these games were state of the art at the time. Uh, <laughs> They need a lot more staff. And so 
Yeah, you know, back in the day when teams like me were making like arcade pool and uh, body blows and full contact. Yeah, I mean, it could be like a couple of guys. It could be a small, small team. It wouldn't take very long. The financial risk was very, very small. Um, whereas with PlayStation games, obviously, it's going to take maybe tens or hundreds of thousands of pounds to make these games, uh, and that's a large investment. Um, and also, on top of that, you need to get, you know, if you're doing a game for PlayStation, you need Sony's approval, you need to actually, you know, put the concept in for approval, you need to uh, let them test it and make sure it follows all of their rules, their TLC. Um, and so with that comes a lot of cost and a lot of complication. And so, uh, as an independent, it meant that Team 17 couldn't, could no longer fund the entirety of game development. We couldn't actually afford to make a game that looked like, you know, Resident Evil, it looks like, you know, those great games that came for the first wave of PlayStation. <coughs> so, what happens is, we enter into an agreement with a publisher. So, we become a third-party studio.